Okay. <clears throat> so one of the basic basic training skills is uh, separating center of mass from center of balance. In order to get a feeling of what center of balance is, that's when you create a fist, take a strong stance, and push on me very, very, very hard. Okay. Now as you push and I let go, the feeling inside your body of losing your balance and your center of mass, your center of balance pulling apart is what you want to simulate within your partner. So you push, you give me heavy force, I leave that, and you feel separation. Something happens inside you. The mind pulls out of the body. So the part of you that's moving out is the mental body, and the center of mass, which is which is getting left behind, is the physical body. Again, push in, you give me resistance, I let go, you feel the separation. Now what we want to do is, is generate those same conditions internally. So we touch our partner's bridge, you place forward force into me, I introduce that into, into the energy and I create a holding point. Same as before, you're pushing there, we have a point of resistance, something for you to lean on. Now I have to give you something to lean on just for a moment and then relax into the energy field. The moment I relax into the energy field, it simulates that same type of idea where the center of balance goes whoop and pulls out of the center of mass. I separate those two. Now once you've got the separation, then you have to have a look at what type of energetic conditions exist within the person for a reaction. Now if you're electric or very, very strong in your frame and then I separate and feel that strength, then we have a potential for, for phaging. Electric, electric, two magnets of the same uh, polarity will repel each other. Let's say you put those same conditions in, but your center's a little bit higher and you're a bit more sprung. Now the moment I get separation, there's a floating effect that's going to take place. Now let's say you put the same base conditions in, but you ground out a little bit. You're heavier and yeah, okay. So here, as the energy responds, and I pull the mind out, the feeling of the person is to go downwards. They want to go down. So wrestlers, grapplers want to go to the ground. Usually, they're going to get pulled in this direction because that's where they want to go. They want to take you to the ground. So the moment you separate, you've got to do a roll back action, pull down action, and set them to where they want to go. If your, your energy was, was, was more forward and leaning in, the moment separation happens, you can pull the mind out and direct it in, you know, making a drawing out action. We have the four elemental ideas. The fire repels directly. The, the water rolls back and pulls them. The air floats them up and the earth sends them down. Most MMA fighters are, are earth. You, they want to go down, their energy is down, they're trying to take you down, so that's where you take them. Uh, Muay Thai fighters are usually air and fire. Uh, Muay Thai floats, they're up high, they're in a bouncing sort of state. They, they run every day, they're very light and quick on their feet. So when you touch them, it's going to be a fire, air type of response. Tai Chi people are, are, are usually very, very centered, grounded, and more towards water. So you as you separate the person's mind from the center of mass, there will be a, a feeling as to which way to take the person. And that we want to develop that sensitivity. And you, you'll, you'll usually know it even before you've separated um, their, their balance and their, their mass. But once they are separated, it's very blatantly obvious. You just follow it and they'll go in that direction. So we don't want to be working with um, uh, uh, ideas of I'm going to train uh, specifically ward off or roll back because that, that sets your mind into, into that fixed idea. But you want to be a mirror. You want to touch the person's energy, get the separation and follow them. You, you want them to, to, to lead you to where you're, going to where you're going to send them. So it's just a matter of, of listening and mirroring their energy. If they want to go down, you send them down. If they want to go up, you send them up. You're just a mirror. And the mirror uh, reflects more easily when the mental body is pulled out of the physical. You get that separation, it will naturally happen. You just have to keep, keep stuck to center, stay within the energetic field. Uh, this will work whether you're using the song, um, the releasing th through the field, 
or whether you're just relaxing into the field, whether you're using the magnetic electric principles or using Akasha principles, have the same idea will work on all of them. The, the, the base condition for this is getting separation, getting the mind out of the body. Once you have that, that the rest takes care of itself. Just stick and follow. Okay, let's partner up and uh, jump into it.